Uh, okay. Uh, good evening, all. So my name's Arjun. I am the founder of Ariu Pro. So just quickly uh, to introduce what we are going to be doing today is we'll be talking of what are the course options that is available for you guys post your BCom. Uh, what are going to be your options for professional programs? Which are the colleges that you have to choose for your doing your BCom? And also maybe we'll be talking of what other options you can do apart from your professional studies, right? So just to give you a quick brief uh, in terms of it. Okay. So just to give you a quick background about uh, what are we doing in terms of the courses or other things. Just uh, let me quickly introduce, like I said, I'm a chartered accountant, founder of Ariu Pro. I've been uh, teaching for CACS, ACCA, CIMA over the last 10-12 uh, years. Uh, so this whole part of our presentation is going to be more interactive with regards to what are the things that we'll be doing, what are the new areas that we shall be looking at. And uh, if you have any doubts with regards to any of the courses, we'll be more happier for you guys to answer those questions so that it becomes more easier uh, for it. Right? Uh, so the first option that most of them take up in the uh, for after 12 is typically most of the commerce students choose is a BCom program. Now, what is that we do in a BCom program and why do people choose it as BCom is typically a course which is good enough in terms of the options that you have. So you, it's like a mother course, everything, any commerce student who is doing it who is confused about his career, he takes a BCom because he has options to go and maybe for a BCom or a CA or a CS, later an MBA, MCom, all of the things. His options are wide open when he's doing a BCom degree. Now that is where students take a BCom as an option uh, after the 12. Now a guy, if I'm confused about, hey, you know what, I don't know what course should I be looking at? Maybe should I do... Uh, a BCom or a CA or what else, right? So the second course, what most of them take up is my BBA course. And why do we take up a BBA course? Somebody who's looking at management as an option going forward in his career. So if I'm trying to say, hey, you know what? I'm trying to look at doing my <coughs> MBA poster. Or maybe I'm trying to get into something got to do with my management qualification. Or I want to maybe get into an entrepreneurship side. Or maybe I want to get into something got to do with stock trading. Or maybe into digital marketing side. Then when you're very clear with your options, then you choose your BBA as an option. So the first course, like I told you, BCom covers both your accounting, finance and management. Whereas when you come to BBA, your focus will be more from the management not from the core, from the finance person. Now, the third course, uh, which people have started taking it across is my uh, BCom uh, or Bachelor of Economics. Now, this course has started taking a lot of importance, one, because of the new areas of public finance, macroeconomics or econometrics, which has come in as a new option. Uh, suddenly, the course of Bachelor of Economics have become a lot more important and also students who are trying to look at an option of uh, look at an option of doing their UPSC exams or maybe trying to look into getting into anything got to do with the scientific research or getting into the master's program. Typically, they choose Bachelor of Economics. Now, another common option which is going up higher in terms of the commerce students is the law paper. Now, a law paper is typically taken. There are two options of getting into law. One, you can do after your 12 by writing exams like CLAT or there are various colleges where there are entrance exams. You can write up your entrance exams for your law and then get in. Colleges like National Law School, everything are part of 
let's just start so what are we going to be covering in today's session majorly are going to be we'll be talking more from the graduation programs that we are going to be looking at the graduation programs the professional programs the certificate programs and also the what are the other options that we have if you are trying to do from the ca angle of it right so these are the common areas that we'll be covering it now in terms of bcom when you look at in terms of the graduation programs when we uh, look into it now what are the courses typically a commerce student looks at right now when i look into any of the commerce students typically the options that they be looking at is either bcom or bba or a ba llb or a bba llb or even the otherwise that they'll be looking at is a bachelor of economics and now you have to understand which are the courses why people take it up now in terms of the undergrad program the common course everyone takes up is a bcom one for a multiple reason that this is going to be a course which has a universal appeal so whether i want to tomorrow shift to a management or i want to to take up a upsc or i want to do an mcom i want to get into any of the professional courses or anything this becomes a course which is going to be widely accepted so somebody who's very confused with career they typically take up a bcom program that's how i look into it a uh, lot of options your core becomes more of finance accounting and uh, that's where bcom people take up bcom now if i am somebody who's very keen on doing a management as my career when i say management i'm trying to talk of hr that's human resource Uh, i like dealing with people or somebody who likes to do sales or marketing or maybe a bit of supply chain analytics where i don't like finance or accounting but i want to build my core area in the management trust me there's no reverse of it because you're already cutting down the core area of finance here so bba is taken by students who are good typically with theoretical stuff they like dealing with people or with creativity on to it that's where they choose a bba as an option the third course that people take up is now actually a one of a trending course is the be or we call it as bachelor of economics here this has started taking more scope for students who are trying to prepare for any of the upsc exams for people who don't know what is upsc upsc is a course which is majorly towards your public services like ias ips and other regions so people typically take up these courses for that region now a uh, bachelor of economics is also chosen by people who are trying to get into research as an angle research as an angle people take up bachelor of economics as a course the next course which another like i told you people take up right now is a ba law or bba llb now there are to understand most of the colleges have typical entrance exams for your bba or a blb course classes or exams like clat or uh, jindal has their own entrance exam symbiosis has their own entrance exam. top colleges even christ university they have their own entrance exams which are meant for the purpose of law and law if you choose it now trust me it becomes a core area from day one you can either get into the corporate side of it or you can get into the practicing side of it if you choose it now it becomes four if you are doing bcom or bba plus llb it will become a five year program uh, i would recommend people to switch off their cameras uh, until and unless you want to ask something right so these are the four professional uh, graduate programs which people typically take up for their undergrad programs guys any doubt with any of this
Now, one of a trend which has started with a lot of colleges when I look into colleges like Christ, Joseph's, or even private universities like Amity and other things, what happens is people are choosing their courses like honors program or professional program or integrated programs. You need to understand what are these programs. Now, when I talk about a BCom program or BCom professional program, BCom f and program, all of these courses are going to be integrated with certain certificate or maybe a certain uh, professional program. So let's say like we work with colleges like Joseph's, Christ, Christ Academy, other colleges where we offer BCom plus uh, CA programs where students do multi programs at the same time, right? So any of these professional programs or integrated programs, please look into it. What is the value addition they're offering? Uh, in colleges like uh, Jane, you have BCom Logistics Management or BCom Digital Marketing or BBA Digital Marketing. These courses are all done with an angle to give you one bit better specialization compared to the regular courses, right? So uh, are you guys clear till here? Guys, anyone, any doubt with any of this? Any questions that you guys have? Okay, uh, so as we are covered with our first set of graduate programs, now let me try looking into the professional programs that we have. Now, typically a student of doing commerce, typically a student of profession uh, of commerce generally tries to give an attempt to any of the score finance pro pro uh, programs. I'm talking about the ones which are commonly followed. There are also courses beyond this, which we can cover it maybe on a one-on-one, -on -one, but these are the typical courses which are taken. So we'll be covering CA, CS, ACCA, CMA India, CMA US, CPI and CFA programs into it. Now, a chartered accountancy course. When I look into a CA course, what happens is CA is one of the most toughest exams when we look into it. Now, reason is because this is a course whose signatories are valuably on two documents which are very very important one is the taxes second one is the audit now no other body has a signatory power except chartered accountancy on it now ca is one of the highest professional body in terms of the commerce programs or even across for any of the uh, certified professional programs now for doing a chartered accountancy you need to be pass sing your 12 or you should have appeared your 12th exams and you should be looking at writing your exams in the month of November if you are planning to register now. CA typically has three levels, foundation, intermediate and final. Foundation as of now has four papers and most of the papers are what you have learned in 11th and 12th. In foundation level, your maths and economics are going to be your MCQ papers. Then comes in intermediate where you can choose to do two you have modules. You can either choose to do both the modules at a time or you can choose to do one module at a time. Then after you are done with your intermediate, you need to do two and a half years or three and a half years of articleship out of which you can write your exams after your three years. This articleship is compulsory for you guys to do your CA. So typical journey for a CA is going to be from start to end will take you between four to five years. Now, the why there's so much of demand for a CA also is the number of students who take up the course and complete it is less than 1%. Now, one of a mistake that students don't understand is if I can clear my intermediate along with my BCom, what you learn with your BCom and intermediate, CA intermediate portions are more or less the same. What students try doing hero is they try to write both the modules at the same time. So CA intermediate, if they have eight papers, they try writing eight. Rather, you can try to write four and four at a time, right? And if you want, you can take it up. And if you get a 16, a particular paper, you get an exemption to it. 
once you clear ca intermediate you get a certification called as atc which is more valuable than your bcom degree a ca intermediate with 3 to 5 years experience earns almost two times or three times higher salary compared to a bcom student and if you can clear your ca the growth is phenomenal because you have multiple areas where your career gets uh, created it can be taxes it can be audit it can be accounting forensic audits investment bank of teaching your credit analyst your investment analyst your career options just gets wide open are you guys clear with the ca as a course and if you have any doubt into it you can always reach out to our support team on aryupro.com we'll be more happier to help you guys out can we go to the next course others any doubt before we go into the next course the next course is a company secretary course now a company secretary course is chosen by a set of students who want to pursue their career in handling the legal and compliance side of a company now if an accountant is in charge of making sure they are keeping the money intact without creating a fraud in the government a company secretary ensures that the legal compliance is maintained now how do i maintain it or what are the things that i do now a company secretary generally maintains the laws of the country right so <coughs> so if the company is maintaining all the laws are they following all the compliances because investors money are involved is going to be checked by a company secretary now one of a thing that i would be thankful to the current government is <coughs> sorry yeah i would be thankful for the current government is one because of them the new companies act has come in the new companies act makes it mandatory for everyone to be taking to make to make sure that every company compulsory appoints a company secretary and because of this there is a massive demand right now currently if the requirement is around a 5 lakh only around a 50000 odd people are doing company secretary so there is a shortage of around 4 and 1/2 lakh and the course a little more simpler compared to a ca thing career wise better than your graduate programs more options for you guys to build your career across so they are the guys who are going to be taking care of all the legal compliances i hope this is clear cs typically has three levels foundation executive and intermediate again the papers work the same but here the foundation paper is called as cs eet which basically is a mcq paper and also one more thing i have to tell you if you write your ca foundation paper and clear it you don't have to write the cs eet like i told you ca is the mother program you clear it you get exemptions from a lot of other papers so if you clear ca foundation you don't have to write the foundation level of company secretary are you clear now when we come to the executive paper again now in ca we have eight papers cs will become six papers divided into three two and uh, two modules of three papers each and once you complete it you have to do an internship or a training for 18 months whereas in ca it is a 36 months so you typically can complete your cs between 3 to 5 years depending on your uh, progression plan and what do they do like i told you it is a guy or a girl, lady who is going to be in charge of making sure the laws of the country and the company are protected from the investor angle so all the legal compliances are taken care by the company secretary are you guys clear arun akash agasti sujata saubhagya sneha are you guys clear uh, are you okay with the pace of it yeah yeah so the next course that we'll be looking at is the cma india 
Now, a CMA India is a course which is taken for somebody who's looking at building a career in costing or a management accounting. Now, to give you a simple brief, what is their role? If you try looking into a pen, a, a pen or a book or a table, you'll be wondering how much cost did it go to manufacture this particular table? How much cost did it go towards manufacturing a particular pen? Now, for identifying a cost, somebody has to understand what is the expenditure which is going in. And am I spending more compared to the competitors? Am I spending less? Where are the areas where I can cut down my cost? This is what a company CMA does. Cost and Management Accountants of India. Now, this is a course which again involves three levels. Foundation, Intermediate and Final typically works like the way CA courses are. Now, this course is again something which is chosen as an alternative when people are looking into the manufacturing sector. This course again has a lot of demand in terms of an analysis. But again, remember, they cannot send the audits or taxation of the company. What they will be signing across is going to be the cost audits or the cost accounting records of a company. Right now, for a few people who are not keen on doing any of the Indian courses, who say, hey, you know what, I can't uh, spend so much of time. I don't have that patience. I don't believe that I can put in so much of effort. Typically, these students look at international courses as an alternative career. Now, what are we talking of? The first course that we'll be talking of is an ACCA. Now, an ACCA course is a course which typically involves your, it's a UK body, relevant as equivalent as an Indian Chartered Accountancy in UK, but they cannot practice in UK. Then, sir, why am I doing it? Because India has a shortage of financial graduates or an accounting graduates. We need a lot of professionals to fill up these roles. And India current requirement is roughly around the 10 lakh accountants and finance professionals required. And we are only at around the 3 lakh right now. Uh, so when you are trying to look into it, when this option is there, and I don't want to put in more efforts, and my option is to work with a corporate. Again and again, I'm saying, I am not looking at doing a practice. Rather, I'm like trying to work with a corporate. ACCA is another professional exam that you can be looking at. And what does an ACCA do? He still can do the internal audits. He can work for MNC companies. He can do work on IFRS. He can work on the financial management, except the Indian taxes and statutory audit. He can still do other things. Now, you might be wondering why should, how is it different? In ACCA, exams happen four times in a year, whereas in Indian professional courses, exams happen twice in a year. In Indian exams, you have to write group wise. So that means you will minimum write three to four papers every time you prepare your exams. Whereas when you are trying to look into the colleges, right, and you're doing your BCom, along with it, if you're trying to do a professional course, you should be looking at taking up a course like ACA. Why? Because you have to do only one paper every three months. If Indian courses are doing four papers, sorry, two times an exam and four papers, here you can do one exam every three months and you can write only one paper. Then you might be asking a question, why do people don't take it up? One, because the course is little expensive compared to a chartered accountancy or other courses. But recognition wise, this of course, India be becoming a developed country has a lot of scope with regards to these courses. Are you guys clear? Now you have total 13 papers, which can be typically completed within your two, two and a half years period. And along with it, you can also do a articleship after you're done with your course or even during your course, which gets counted to get your membership. Now, uh, there are also a lot of colleges which offer a exemption along with your graduation. You can reach out to us if you require any help with choosing the right set of colleges out there. Uh, the next program which has been taken by people is a management accounting course. 
from the US body called CMA US. Now, this course typically is two papers, both of them having MCQs to an extent of 70% and another 30% is your essay type question. This covers areas of finance, management, accounting, costing, everything. And exams, again, are pretty standardized. And if you are trying to do a certification program along with your BCom to enhance it, this is a course that you should be looking at because it will help you guys better than just doing your regular BCom. Now, few of the colleges uh, that are well known for doing professional programs Christ, St. Joseph's, Mount Carmel, Jane, Christu Jayanti, SSMRV, St. Claret, St. Francis, Christ Academy, SDC Kola, Jyoti College, Mahajanas in Mysore, uh, your St. Aloysius, Canara, St. Agnes, Puna Pragna, MJ. These are all colleges which offer your BCom plus any of these professional programs. For better understanding of the programs, you can always reach out to us. We'll be more happier to help you out with if you're getting stuck with choosing a right college. Right? Now, a lot of them are worried to say, hey, you know what? I don't want to take so much of stress. I want to just do my BCom. Can I do professional programs off of the BCom? The answer is yes. If you do your prof BCom or BBA and take up your professional programs, you are exempted from the level one of all the courses. So level one gets exempted. Now, when we come to the level two, what happens? You start with intermediate level, provided you have got 50% in your BCom. Now, so your professional doors are still open. It's not that you have to do only after 12. Now you can also choose to do various other master programs. Maybe do your MCOM or BBA or LLB, which is a two-year program. Or you can even prepare for your UPSC exams. That is your public services. Are you clear? Now, UPSC exams are taken post your graduation is done. Now, a lot of them were asking me this question to say. Why didn't you cover programs of CPA and CFA? These two programs can only be done after your graduation is done. So CPA is a public accounting program, which is equivalent to Indian CA in US. And CFA is a program of financial analyst, which is going to be focusing more on your investment banking. Both the programs can be done only after your BCOP. So that's why it's not covered in the today's presentation. Now, Few of the other courses like your MCOM is taken for guys who want to specialize in your accounting or maybe get in, into teaching as an alternative career. MBA is again a course chosen. So to prepare for your MBA, you need to start preparing for your entrance exams towards your second year of your graduation because most of the top colleges have your MBA as a program. LLB can be done either along with your undergrad or after your undergrad. If you do after your undergrad, you will be wasting one year because it's a two-year program. And UPSC is your civil services exam. Now, the last thing that we are going to be covering across is which are the professional programs or certificate programs you have to do along with your BCom, irrespective of what college you join, where you are doing it, whether you're doing CA, CS, any of it, you need to end up doing at least two of this certificate programs. And I would always suggest if you can do the analytics program, because that's a trend right now in the industry, uh, financial modeling, especially learn it in Excel, digital marketing for somebody who's looking at BBA as an option, data analytics, whether you're BCom, BBA, any course do it, HRM specific for BBA, supply chain management, BBA, and business analytics for all of it. So these are the set of courses that you should be looking at for doing after your BCom. So if you have any doubt, you can always reach out to us uh, on this number. Our career counseling team would be happy to help you guys out. Uh, and if you have any questions, I'll be more happy to answer it.
any questions, which college, which course, this is what your plan is. You can maybe switch it on and I'll be more happier to answer. Okay, can you do CA and CS at the same time? Yes. So I would prefer is prepare for CA foundation and once you clear it, attempt for your CS and uh, uh, CA intermediate together. Almost 60% of the portions are the same, uh, but depends on whether you are you going to do along with your graduation, how hectic is your graduation makes a lot of difference. Sneha, I hope I answered your question. Right. Uh, which institute is better in Bangalore for CA? In Bangalore, CA is offered by uh, Yeshas, Arivu Pro, that's our academy, uh, then Jaykesh, uh, Sampath. So depending on your location, you can choose onto it and you can call us up. We can look into it. Uh, Madesh, where are you looking at? Which city? Uh, in Tamil Nadu, you do not have colleges which are offering your BCom plus CA program. Uh, preferably, I would prefer you to come down to Karnataka right now uh, and then look in. Is it compulsory to do articleship for CS? If you are doing your CA articleship, you can always give a letter and that can be exempted for your CS. How do you do BCom and CA together? Most of the colleges, so when you are planning to do BCom and CA together, choose a college where BCom and CA support is given. Why? I'll tell you is one, because your BCom and CA exams at most of the times clash. Uh, and most of the colleges which are offering BCom plus CA start very early in the morning. Typically like Christ, Joseph's, uh, Jyoti College or uh, SSMRB or even when you look into Mahajanas in Mysore, these colleges typically start at around 7, 8 in the morning and by 11 o'clock your BCom is done. And post that, they give you a one, one and a half hour break and then your CA classes start. Or few of them choose colleges and then attend a private academy. Uh, that's also an option. So level one is not so difficult. So if you're planning to do CA, you should enroll for your level one now so that you can write your foundation level before November uh, or during November so that it becomes easier for you guys when you join BCom. So that BCom will be little stress. Uh, your stress levels will be lower uh, compared to other students. And uh, once you're done with your intermediate, if you're not in a college which is supporting your BCom and CA, your articleship will become a challenge. And if you want some help, uh, Roshni, you can always reach out to our contact number or you can directly ask my name or my counselor's team will be happy to help you out. Hope that answers your question, Roshni. Roshni, was I able to answer or you want more clarification on it? Okay. Uh, see, I would always see you are still a month away. There are subjects like your accounting or let's say company law or even your costing, which will never change whether it's old syllabus or new. So you should start preparing for it. Uh, this syllabus change keeps happening every time. So it does not matter. Okay. How many years, if you am writing CA foundation, June, 2023, you will be writing CA in June, 2023. You'll write your intermediate in uh, June, oh, sorry, May, 2024. So for you, it's going to be a three-year articleship. So you can do two years and then write your exam and then finally do another year. Sneha. Okay. Thank you. Guys, anyone else? Any question? Akash, Agasti, Arun, Shreya, Pavan, Prasad, Elizabeth, Saubhagya, 
will be more happier to answer it sorry because of the technical glitch that we had to struggle a little bit earlier yeah so guys uh, you can follow us on our facebook page or insta page or even youtube uh, we'll be more happier we keep sharing this updates uh, you can even if you are confused about any of your courses you can reach out to us our team will be more happier to help you out uh, we are not here to promote any of the courses choose a right career path so that you do not regret later in your life uh, there are stories uh, of successful people how their life transformed after completing professional programs or joining a right course uh, when i do talk to a lot of students they are too confused about what is their career choice and we are just trying to make it more happier clearer for you guys uh thank you all for attending the session uh, if you have no doubts uh will be more happier to answer what's the difference between the old syllabus and the new syllabus uh the new syllabus is more practical approach towards what is the next generation of learning and as a student to be very honest i should not be thinking too much about it sneha i should be looking into it when i enroll what is the syllabus i should just keep preparing for it as a professional you will learn all the things over a period of time so i would never so when even i was writing i wrote new syllabus in between i had this old new syllabus ka drama and this continues to go in as professional course this is a ever, never ending journey don't think too much about it and we can guide you across on this course don't worry about it yeah if there are no questions thank you guys thank you so much for attending uh, the session uh, hope i have answered all the questions okay tell me more about aptc degree akash atc is not a degree it is a certification called as accounting technician certificate or a course given by icai that's the ca institute after you clear your ca intermediate so if you there are because there are lots of students who clear intermediate and they don't clear their final so to ensure that the degree get or the their efforts gets recognized ca you need to apply to a certificate called as atc and we can guide you across once you are done with your ca intermediate and ca intermediate is more valuable right now compared to your undergrad programs but again the passing percentage is a challenge so you need to figure out on how do you go about it okay cma internship again you have to do it either in a corporate or under a cost accountant uh, after you are done with your intermediate levels akash so after you are done with your intermediate level is when you have to do it uh, so and if you want to do cma intermediate again if you clear your ca foundation you don't have to write the cma in, uh, foundation level share okay from where what do we mean no so you will have to get trained under either a practicing uh, cma or a cost accountant or a firm which practices cost accounting or there are certain companies which are given and to how to apply what to do you will figure out once you are done with your intermediate don't break your head right now shreya right now your focus should be to clear your foundation and intermediate so as you go through the journey once you go level up there will be people to guide you across so don't break your head right now it's too early right now you should be looking at you are level 1 and level 2 how do you clear about it right uh, guys if you have liked the session just i would prefer you guys to put a thumbs up so it gives me a sense of satisfaction that we did something uh, better uh, it also motivates us to do this regularly uh, and would really appreciate uh, 
the feedback if there's something that you're looking at and i want to cover it will be more happier how to handle bcom and articleship at the same time arun like i told you you need to join colleges which are offering bcom integrated ca programs because their college timing since it gets over before 11 companies are okay to accept them for articleship don't do it in regular colleges because it will hamper both your bcom and ca or else you'll have to take a delay by a year Arun, I hope I have answered it. And your only one year is going to get, uh, what do you say, your, you'll have little bit of challenges, but it's a time that you will be working, so it's not going to be a challenge for you, Arun. Guys, anything else? Kanchana, Elizabeth, Pavan, Sneha, Saubhagya. Okay. Uh, whether should I do BCom, regular class or distance learning? Uh, I would always prefer to take up a college which is offering a BCom with CA integrated than doing a distance learning. Uh, because let's say, like I told you, the professional programs, the passing percentages are lower. If any time you fail in the exams, doing a regular BCom will give you a little bit advantage towards more courses. So I would always suggest take up a regular BCom, but take up an integrated CA pro BCom program. Don't do the regular BCom. If your city or uh, place does not offer this integrated, then choose your distance learning. Thanks, Roshni. Hope I have answered it, Sneha. Thank you so much. Right? Uh, anyone else? Any other doubt? Yep. Thank you all. Uh, thank you so much for attending. Uh, Hope to see you guys soon. And if you have any doubts, please reach out to me. My name's Arjun. I would be more happier to help you guys out. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks for your efforts. No problem. Yeah, uh, sorry. Uh, so somebody was asking on the Don Bosco college uh, Yadgiri near Gur Gulbarga. So uh, you can always try, if somebody is from Gulbarga, you can always try to look into it, uh, the Yadgiri college, where they're doing your BCom uh, and CA program. Uh, uh, this is a college that you should be looking at in Yadgiri. Right? Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, see you soon. Uh